when to run a design sprint? The design sprint, a few years ago, I would like to share the story. When I first time met with the design sprint, as I remember on the conference, I was totally blown away how it perfectly works, how this methodology uh, works with the companies. And I felt from the very, very first second that uh, we need to use this methodology with our customers and enhance them to do that uh, together. And uh, really, it works. And why at the beginning? Because the biggest companies in the world, like Google, Amazon, Netflix, use this methodology and it is proven that it works. So as I mentioned, for the past six years, we've worked with customers, um, companies of every size, from small companies to the biggest one in various industries. So I mean, banking, finance, leasing, but not, on, not only entertainment, hospitality. And we've done over 100 uh, of sprints with our customers. And really, uh, our customer which uh, who did this uh, design sprint with us, they are totally fascinating of this approach and like like very very much so generally this is the uh, great approach to start new project really uh, every kind of project and uh, not only home you know mobile for example banking or a desktop application uh, or uh, just a module just small functionality really it uh, it is okay for that but what is it the design sprint in a very short words this is five-step process uh, for answering critical business questions through design, prototyping, and testing ideas with customers in a very, very short period of time. Of course, I uh, show you how it looks like in a days. And what is uh, here important that it is everything based on uh, on a book uh, which was uh, written by Jake Knapp. Uh, Jake, Jake Knapp. Uh, Jake Knapp created the design sprint process at Google in 2010, uh, and generally the book came out in 2016. And really, I recommend you to meet with this uh, with this book. Of course, it is updated workshops. There are a lot of facilitation methods how to use this design sprint uh, for your projects. Really, it's worth to, to read this uh, this book, definitely. But before I, I show you uh, the design sprint step by step, so I would like to ask you the question. Do you know the story when uh, in your company, in your room, uh, in with your teammates, you heard that or you participate in such discussion that I've got solution. OK, let's do it. I hate this. Let me explain. I <laughs> I have another proposal and etc. cetera, et cetera. So generally a lot of ideas, but not constructed a decision here because we've got proposal, uh, we've got solution, then we criticize, then we've got another solution and we forget about, for example, the first uh, the first uh, solution. And that's why the design sprint methodology is um, the great answer for that, because in this methodology, we've got a session for presentation of whole solutions, which are produced during the design sprint workshop. And then we've got a space to criticize it, to generally to discuss about that and think about pros and cons of each solution. And then we've got a real decision. So this is great uh, approach. And another story, another question for you. And <laughs> what about uh, such uh, such picture? Do you know that? So a lot of meetings in our calendar. Really, there are a lot of uh, meetings, and there is no space to you know to put a place for another creative and very productive meeting to find new ideas. Uh, so generally, also thanks Jack Knipe. Uh, obsession of the productivity uh, in the design sprint we've got structured uh, meetings in our calendar workshops long day workshops for example two days and then we've got a break then we've got another workshop but really it works and our calendar is totally better um, than than before